What's up guys, it's Michael Stewart here. Today I'll be showing you how to remove wrinkles from your face using Coral Paint Shop Pro. So let's get right into it. So we start off by um, analyzing our photos. As you can see here, our friend here, our beautiful lady here, has a few wrinkles to the bottom right of her eyes and along her um, smile line. Let's call it a smile line. Yes. So we start off by duplicating the layer so that we have something to co compare with as we go along. And the main tool that we'll be using will come from this category, category here. Um, scratch remover, the clone tool, and we may even venture into using a few other options such as the paintbrush. So for the most part though, we start off by using the scratch remover tool. I find this to be very, very effective when removing wrinkles. So we grab our scratch tool and we basically drag it over the wrinkle lines. We're trying to remove the harsh, strong lines that are very defined. So it's just a repetitive process. We process we go through and do each section of our face we hold space to pan as we go along so this process may be a time consuming one so i might speed up the video just to um, reduce the time. As you can see, already we are starting to get some good results just by using the scratch remover tool. Let's turn off the top layer here to reveal what where we're coming from this is where we're at and this is where we're coming from so we'll continue some more using the scratch remover tool when it comes on to the eye area we want to be careful as no longer do we have long straight lines so we may opt in to use perhaps the clone tool to do this area but until then we continue to remove the harsh straight lines So we also want to remove some of the lines from her neck area just to create uh, somewhat of a balance between the wrinkles on her face and her neck. So we zoom in and we do the same. So this is where we're at after using the scratch remover tool. So this is the after and this is the before. So if you observe her neck ear here, you notice the lines, the strong defined lines, they're evident there. The scratch remover tool got rid of most of it. So now we're going to work on the eye ear. 
so for the i error um again we look at it we analyze it we still see a few areas where the scratch remover tool could help so we'll continue with it here for some of these sections perhaps for this area here we'll use a clone tool so we go over to this um, and click the dot the drop down and click the double the clone tool sorry and we right click on an area that we want to sample where for now we're going to reduce the opacity to about 60 percent because while we want to remove the wrinkles we still want to maintain the texture of the skin so we right click on a smooth area here and then we basically stamp in the areas that we want to reduce the wrinkles in so we can always resample areas until we get the desired effect and there we have it so we can do the same for the other eye resample as you go along and also reduce the opacity or increase the opacity if needed zoom out to see where we're at we're going to do a bit of the same for her nose area and the corners of her eyes going to reduce the opacity to about 13 percent and what I'm going to do I'm going to increase the size of the brush to perhaps 70 percent here so the opacity is way down it's a 13 so this gives me a more delicate approach to her skin Can increase it a bit and there we have it um, most of the wrinkles have been removed this is the after and this is before so we definitely added some element of youth to this photograph so thanks for watching please subscribe for more and see you next time